So I totally forgot that I ordered the entire Panera Bread swim line. That's it, that's my intro. Yes, you heard me right. Panera Bread swim wear. And I realized as I was getting ready to film this video that I haven't filmed like a standing up swimwear type of video since I've moved into this apartment because I haven't done a, a Spider-Man lingerie video in a while. Like I said, I had completely forgotten that I had ordered this. I forgot that Panera was trying to do like a swimwear line. They sold out pretty quickly. So I had heard about the Panera soup swim line on Twitter. I had already ordered it when people started sending this to me like, Amanda, got your next, I tried it so you don't have to, but I ordered it on July 8th. And the only email that I've gotten the entire time from Panera is, thanks for shopping with Panera. You truly are a year round soup aficionado. You will be ready to tackle the heat in style with our new swim soup gear. We are working hard to get your order out to you and will be shipping at the end of July. If you happen to find yourself eating at Panera in your new swim soup gear, tag us on social, Panera Bread, on both Instagram and Twitter. Enjoy your swim soup gear and then my order number. I ordered the entire line. I ordered both the one pieces that were available, both of the swim trunks, and then the bread bowl floaty, okay? So in total, it came to $129, including shipping. This is my job. This is my job. So naturally, finally came, totally forgot. I was going to do a video on Don't Breathe 2, but uh, wasn't able to do that because of reasons. So luckily, this came in time for me to make that video for now. Yay! Isn't that fun how things work out? Panera's advertisement for their soup line, they apparently cited some study that said that people still like soup, even though it's hot. And so they decided they were going to do a whole line about soup, which includes five items, but you get my point. And specifically their broccoli cheddar. Personally, I don't like their broccoli cheddar. I'm very much with Panera, I like their bagels. I have good bagels. I like their bakery items. Let me show you what we got. It's all about soup and then the broccoli cheddar. So we've got this wonderful one piece. And yes, I'm going to be putting all this on for you. There's not going to be any Spider-Man suit in this video because these are one pieces. There's no two pieces. And I just may not turn around for you. Also, I'm wearing socks to protect my feet pick credibility, okay? We've got the broccoli cheddar one piece. There's like an, a lining inside for like extra support. Oh, there's pockets too. So if I wanted to put padding inside, I could totally do that. That's nice. I'm probably just gonna leave my bra on because I don't trust any of you. And it looks like it, it might be full coverage on the butt. We're gonna find out. Literally just like broccoli covered in cheese. Kind of love the design. Like if I wore this to the beach and then what we got is the same style of one piece. And I got small for the one piece cause I'm, I'm pretty short. And so usually one piece in size small fit me pretty well. This one just says soup and it's green. You guys, this was made for me. <laughs> the, I, I'm convinced, it also has the Panera logo. Does this one have the Panera logo? It does, okay. So I don't know if you can see the Panera logo. I'll show you guys better when it's on, but it's right by the hip, you know, which is kind of sexy. Kind of like a little tattoo from Panera. Like I've been branded by Panera. By the way, side note, they are not sponsoring this video. This is not um, a brand deal. This is not, paid for, I did pay for all these, unfortunately. <laughs> but those are the one pieces. I'll put this on for you in a second. We've got the matching swim trunks and I ordered mediums for these and totally forgot that they were meant for like dudes. So they're far too big. I can tell, like already. <laughs> I could wear it as a top. <laughs> but anyway, if you wanna match your man, okay? Or if you are not a man, but you like swim trunks, they are men's sizes. So go for a small if you are like me, if you usually wear mediums. The swim trunks, correspond with the one pieces. So like if you guys want to get matching sets with like your your buddy or if you want to get like shorts and then like wear them, like I'm, we're gonna do some mixing and matching. We're gonna see how things look, how things work. We're gonna try it all out. It's gonna be fun and exciting. But I know what you guys really want to see, okay? You guys want to see the bread bowl. I do too, frankly. There we have the bread bowl. I have yet to open it, as you can see. And I haven't even decided how I'm gonna blow this up. I have to blow this up manually. This may be a nightmare. It should be interesting. How big is it even? Like, is this even feasible for me to blow up? So this thing is pretty large. Like I'm actually impressed by the size. And I think it was still only like $25, but this is nice. Also side note, when I put on these bathing suits, like I said, I'm wearing socks, you can't see my feet, but I have been in the sun for exactly two hours, the entirety of the last two years. So my legs are pale as hell and 
veiny and gross and naturally I uh, got a flat tire the other day and so my knees are also scraped up as are the rest of my legs for me trying to change my own tire. Um, the thing is, is that I have the upper body strength of a gerbil, so I had to call a professional to come do it for me because I can get the bolts off. Anyway, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna <laughs> kind of try blowing this up in increments, I think. I think that's like the best way for me to do this, but I don't know, so we're gonna see. Oh, there's no stopper to it? Hang on. Ooh, okay, that's a later issue. Okay, let's start with the one pieces and we'll go from there. Okay. So I took my bra. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I was wrong. A small is just a, a touch too small. I think I forgot about the fact that uh, Panera Bread doesn't usually make swimwear. Um, but yeah, this is so tight, so small. Like I can't, ow, fuck. So I can't show you guys the very bottom. <laughs> but like it's, 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 I have a bit of a wedgie. <laughs> you wanna go, mom said I can go swimming now. <laughs> this is not flattering on me at all. I look like a boss. <laughs> my boobs, gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to like show you guys my razor braid. <laughs> this is so tight. Oh my God, I don't know how, okay. So a piece of advice, <laughs> Jesus. Oh God, I'm glad I'm wearing underwear underneath. Like, <laughs> okay, Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> so this does not fit me. <laughs> I don't know if it's showing up, but can you see how the pattern is stretched out? It's like so tight and so thin, like the print itself. The only reason it's not warped on the front, I think, is because there's that second inside panel sewn inside. I'm gonna be tempted to see how it looks on the green, the the soup one, because I think the broccoli make the pattern more, like the stretching more obvious. <laughs> this does nothing for my figure. <laughs> you know how some people look super like, like statuesque in like a one piece. I apparently am not that person, my God. Also like the side of my boobs, like it's it's coming out. It's gonna be a problem. Like <laughs> this is, gosh, I mean, hey, if you don't wanna pay for a binder <laughs> and you really like soup, this might be the way to go. Just a one piece bathing suit underneath. Cause like I just look like I've got some like I, I was like really working on my chest, you know, like in the gym. Cool. Also side note, um, if you have anything resembling a butt, like a little bit of a booty, a big booty, whatever, um, get a medium. <laughs> Cause getting this on was a challenge. It was a problem. Um, also like I, I shouldn't have had breakfast. Why did I have breakfast before filming this? I should have waited longer. Okay, fine. I'll show you guys a side view. Okay. So that's, that's all it is. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's try on one of the shorts. Okay. So like I said, I already know these are too big. So I really am just doing great in the sizing choice for department. Okay, yeah, getting over my, my hips. <laughs> Much better. I mean, this is kind of, I, I love that they have pockets. Like I, it's kind of a look. Okay, you can't see any difference in the pattern. <laughs> Oh God, at least I don't have to worry about my nips popping out. Like that was what my fear was with these, but like the, the, my boobs are like compressed to my chest. Like I, anyway, these look <laughs> ka -chow. boom. Oh, Panera, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me try on the, uh, the green bottoms and we'll see how that looks and then i'll try on the soup one piece even though i know it's, it's the same size we'll see if it fits differently like then it's like a thing <laughs> okay we're good we're fine we're chilling okay i kind i kind of fuck with this i kind of dig this like wait this is kind of like this kind of works like you can't see uh the front and back wedgie that i'm getting okay you know like it's Working out. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys properly the like height. Hang on, let me see if I can show you properly the length. <laughs> I wanna go swimming. 
Oh gosh. Okay. I mean, is it doing anything for me? Not really. Not <laughs> just the outline. <laughs> Of how poorly the bottoms fit me. That's so funny. But anyway, the pockets are like super deep pockets. Super nice. Are these five inch inseams? I can't tell. They might be. Okay, so on an actual like person that these would fit, probably do. Let's see, can I roll these down a little bit and make them not look, how's that? Okay, so you're Jason Voorhees, okay? And you pull up to Camp Crystal Lake to kill some campers, kill some, some counselors, and you see me diving in. Would you fall in love with me? Would you spare me? Would you beat me against a tree in a sleeping bag? Let me know. Comment down below. <laughs> We're going to do the soup one piece next. If I can get this one off, we'll find out. I'm like sweating because getting out of the last uh, one piece and then getting into this one, a challenge actually. I also cannot turn around. Like I just really can't. I'm like being very careful of what I show you because the stretchiness that happened in the last one is also happening in this one, except it's way worse, <laughs> way more apparent, way more see-through. I'm wearing underwear underneath this just to make sure I didn't like accidentally flash any of you while filming this just in case. And I'm very glad I did uh, because if I wasn't, I would be going full crack out right now basically because the fabric is just stretched so taut over my ass <laughs> it's like it's it's like sheer like it's not it's not flattering it's not cute it's not like oh what's she wearing no it's like not attractive whatsoever it's tighter almost like i'm assuming the front panel was to one make sure the stretching doesn't happen like as it's happening in the back but also i think it's meant to try and like cinch the waist god i'm sweating <laughs> kind of like cinch the waist a bit um, add more support for the breasts, but it's just, it, it just makes it so uncomfortable. It's like I'm wearing a diaper underneath my swimsuit and I'm wearing underwear underneath the swimsuit. So that says something. Also the front panel by the crotch is just not sewn on properly. So it's just not <laughs> like, it's super, like I'm not showing you guys anything, but like it's super loose. That's just loose fabric. That's not properly sized with the lining. And it's just, you know, it's not ideal. So as much as I would love to pull up to the beach wearing a soup one piece, I just, I can't, you know, I just really can't. But let me pull these back on. So this one you can see pattern better because obviously these are the green. One piece covers up all the stuff. They're the same style, same length as the other one, so I'm not gonna adjust the camera again. I also can't tell if this is like... <laughs> I look like a little boy. <laughs> I don't think that I have like giant boobs, but sometimes I forget that I actually do have some boob until like I, like they're gone suddenly. Like then I'm like, oh wait, I do have some titty. <laughs> so there are these, boom, boom. Boom, okay. New boot goofing, okay. I'm sweating so much. Oh my gosh, I'm also in like the least airy section of my apartment. Is there boob sweat already? The joys of being a woman. Ooh! <laughs> no one wants a waist over. <laughs> Nine inches. I love the green. It's just, I wish. They fit <laughs> and they were made better. That being said, I mean, I'm just fascinated that this, the one piece is like too small because mediums are usually too big for me. It's hot as hell in California today. Also, side note, um, did you know the climate is like destroying us? Like we're destroying the climate and so in turn, it's gonna take it out on us and we're gonna like not be inhabitable on this planet in like 10 years. Isn't that fun and exciting? We should really look into uh, the US military's pollution rate and also um, the you know fossil fuel industry, all of them, you know, polluting the air. Like us using paper straws and metal straws and all of that, like that's great. But like <laughs> the pollution that's coming from billionaires alone, you know, trying to go to space and having a dick measuring contest in space, like that alone is like doing a lot of damage rapidly. So yeah, that's fun. Anyway, it's really hot. <laughs> like I said, I wish this fit. Like I said, I'm sweating, S pouring sweat. Like it's so gross. I'm going to finish blowing this up later and insert the footage of me. I don't know, maybe in my bathtub sitting on this. That might be fun in like an actual swimsuit that fits me, that'd probably be fun. I'm already out of breath, just standing here in the swimsuit that I don't think taking the time to use my 
my chest power to blow this up is like a good idea. I think that would like, I'd pass out and I live alone. I don't think that'd be a good idea. So uh, I will pull this up slowly throughout the day and insert the footage for you later. So this thing is pretty goddamn big. I mean, I know I'm tiny, but also Hermes, come here for scale. Hermes uh, is my dog. Um, some of you know about him, but I recorded this video before I was telling people about him. So that's why you hear me go, ow, it's cause he was gnawing on my foot like a chicken leg. So here's the blow up. Oh, I took my sweet time with it. Ow. So here's Hermes for scale. It's pretty goddamn big, hang on. There's Hermes for scale, my miniature schnauzer. I do want to take this to the beach. Um, once COVID's not an immediate issue anymore with my family, I will be taking this to the beach, to the dog beach with Hermes, and uh, it should be interesting. And that's going to be it. Overall, the design's very fun. As a concept, very fun. Um, I think swimsuits wise, especially limited edition swimsuits wise, fairly reasonably priced. I just wish there were better Maybe it's because I'm like female swimsuits, swimsuits in general, but like women's swimsuits are like annoying as hell. Like if you want a two piece bikini, like most likely you have to pay for each part separately. So like in total, fairly reasonably priced. And I do like the joke of like soup, broccoli cheddar. Like I do think that's fun. Like I would love to wear the broccoli cheddar swimsuit to the beach and have people like, what's on your sweater? It's like, oh, you don't know uh, Pinier, Pinera. You don't know Pinera, Pinera. Like the designer Piñera, you're not familiar? Like I would do that, um, but I can't because I would probably be arrested for public indecency if I were to wear <laughs> this out in public. Like it would be a problem. So size up for the one pieces, size down if you're uh, tiny like me for the uh, bottoms. I'm very excited to blow this up. This thing is like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm very excited to insert the footage of me like enjoying sitting in this thing somewhere. I don't know, I haven't been to the beach and I'm also afraid to go to the beach cause COVID. Um, so <laughs> if Panera were to do this again, I would probably try them out mainly cause I wanna see if they take any criticism and see if they make any adjustments. Like the inside lining kind of hate that. Line the whole thing or like don't do it at all. You know, like let me deal with the fact that I'm hanging crack, you know, like <laughs> let me figure it out. Do you like Panera bread? Do you like the broccoli cheddar? Do you like the soup and sandwich combo? Like what I get? Let me know, comment down below. As a reminder, I have merch listed down below. As a reminder, I started my small shenanigans podcast, new episodes every Wednesday. That'll be linked down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also support my Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to comment on my social media, that'll be up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Picture me in Malibu, okay? I've got sunglasses, okay? I've got some big floppy hat, some a swimsuit that fits me, okay? And then I whip out this bad boy, okay? All blown up. Tell me you wouldn't be like, damn, I would date that. <laughs> Thank you, Allie, Ellen, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Feckless, Hopeless, Hollow, Jacker Ray, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Luis, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matt, US, Me, Lord, The Red, Michael, Michael, J, Name, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Prowlock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Andre.